Hey friends, Ash here with Sense. Hope everybody out there is doing really well. Hope it's a great day or night for you. Today, I'm gonna to be going over with you guys five different fragrances that only I am allowed to wear. That means nobody else out there can wear these. Only myself. Of course, I'm playing. You can wear these fragrances. If I smell you, random person watching this video, wearing one of these fragrances, I'm not gonna, you know, come up behind you and try to trip you. I'm not going to push you over something or smack you in the back of the head. I'll just be like, oh, cool, kindred spirit. So let's go ahead and jump into this. Five fragrances only I'm allowed to wear for real. Only not really. Hey guys, let me know in the comments below a fragrance that you keep just to yourself. Maybe like your, your hidden weapon fragrance, what is that? Um, actually, maybe, oh, <laughs> I just gave myself an idea. I think maybe I'm gonna do that video in the future, my hidden weapon fragrances. They won't be very hidden afterwards, but decent idea. But anyway, in the comments below, one of your hidden weapon fragrances. Fragrance one, wait, no, not, not fragrance one. Fragrance number one in this video is Dracar Noir. Only I am allowed to wear Dracar Noir. Not the probably millions of people before me and, and right now and also in the future that have worn Dracar Noir. You are not allowed, only I can wear it. As leather, oak moss, lavender, pine, and lemon as some of the notes in the fragrance along with a lot of other ones. I mean, this is an 80 cent. It's, it's got that 80s thing going on. By that I mean a, a freaking ton of notes. Dracar Noir is a fragrance that I have owned in one way or another since I was a kid. Yeah, I was wearing this 80s powerhouse back in like the third grade. So I'm an early adopter of Dracar Noir, or at least for myself. I mean, I wasn't there when it was released wearing it or anything. That would have been not possible. Dracar Noir has been a certified compliment beast since 1982. It's been out for a while. Now, because it was worn so much, it's kind of a punchline and has been used as a punchline for that out of touch guy who's got on just way too much fragrance and maybe it doesn't come across appealing that way and that's why it became a punchline. But I still think it smells awesome and Dracar Noir smells like Dracar Noir. It doesn't smell like anything else out there. It is immediately identifiable if you have ever smelled the fragrance and it's one that I love. So only I can wear it. And yeah, I do still occasionally spray that on, even in 2020. Fragrance number two. This is one I've talked about on the channel before a few different times. Kind of smells like a Creed fragrance, only on the cheap. It's Paco Rabanne's XS. I don't know if that came across correctly, whatever. Juniper, bergamot, rosemary, and mint. Some of the notes in the fragrance. And yeah, it smells like Himalaya, Creed's Himalaya. And guess which one came first? That's right, Paco Rabanne XS came first. So this could possibly, I'm not saying for sure, but this could possibly be one of those circumstances where Creed saw something going on over in that direction and they were like, hey, what is that? Can we, uh, can we get something like, like that? We, we can? Okay, cool, yeah. Something like that right there. Like, yeah, like that. That may or may not have happened. And it may or may not have involved binoculars, probably not, but something like that may have happened. Maybe, possibly. This one, like Himalaya, very fresh, refreshing, and at the same time, classy. Really nice for spring. Wear it in the summer as well, and if you wanted to, you could wear it in the fall. Heck, wear it all year round if you want to. And for XS, the bottle has changed now. It comes in a bottle that looks similar to Pure XS. Actually, the whole XS line has been changed up into those bottles. So Black XS now in that same shorter bottle style as well with a nice gradient. If you have an older bottle of XS, it's taller and skinnier, maybe doesn't look quite as nice, not quite as modern, but either way, you're good to go. New bottle, old bottle, still smells great. And that's one. I love, and since nobody talks about it all that much, I'm claiming it for myself. Next fragrance is a discontinued one. Yes, you know how I love discontinued fragrances, and I do. This one is from Escada, and it is Sentiment. I think they kind of missed out here. It should have been spelled with a, a C, Sentiment. Get it? 
instead of sentiment, sentiment. Yeah, you get it. It's got juniper, pink pepper, lime, nutmeg, and sandalwood is some of the notes in the fragrance. And even though this is a discontinued Escada, actually all mint fragrances from Escada are discontinued. It's pretty cheap as of this video. In the future, it might not be, but right now it is. And for quite a while, you could find Moon Sparkle by Escada also on the cheap. And I think you can still find that at discounters as well. Those are pretty much it as far as affordable mint Escada fragrances go. All the others, at least to the best of my knowledge, are more difficult to find and much more expensive. Uh, probably leading the way would be Escada Pour Homme, which is a fantastic gentleman league fragrance and uh, magnetism. That's the one that most people are gonna think about. But those aren't the only great men's Escada fragrances. There was also Casual Friday, which is really good. And this one, Sentiment. This one is woody, spicy, little touch of sweetness in there and fresh. It's not super hyper masculine. Some people might consider this more unisex, but the fragrance itself smells really nice. It smells like its own thing, not trying to copy anything else or take DNA from anything else. And it's also a pretty big compliment puller as well. So Escada Sentiment, yeah, claiming that one as well. Discontinued, easy to wear checks a lot of boxes. Next fragrance is from the house of Guerlain. I've talked about the first fragrance in this line a bunch, and that is Vetiver. I really, really, really like Guerlain Vetiver. I think it's a fantastic fragrance, an amazing bang for your buck, because it does not cost that much from discounters and it smells like it should. This one is Vetiver Extreme. It has incense, tarragon, pepper, and licorice, along with vetiver, as some of the notes in the fragrance. This one, I have not actually talked about a ton on the channel, and I think it gets overshadowed by vetiver, the original. And for good reason, that one is an all-time classic, but this one is actually going to be more wearable, more versatile for more people than the original is. It's more modern. It's like taking that vetiver DNA and modernizing it and giving it maybe a little touch, more sweetness in there, switching up the notes a little bit. If you wear them side by side, you can tell definite differences between vetiver and vetiver extreme. And you can also at the same time tell that vetiver extreme is built off of the vetiver DNA. I would also say if you just want to really overly simplify it that Vetiver Extreme is maybe a little warmer from the mid all the way through the dry down. Uh, it does feature incense, which you're not going to really find in the original. And you're not gonna find tobacco here, which you will find in the original. And the price on this one is good as well. It's one of those more affordable Guerlain fragrances. The quality, just like the original Vetiver, very high. So this is one that I'm also gonna take for myself. And I already said this once, but I'm just playing. You can, you can wear them, don't worry. I'm just playing. It's for the video. Last fragrance in this list, Michael Kors for men. Yeah, really, really like this one. Last fragrance for me, Michael Kors for men. Yeah, I brought this one up before. And at this point, I'm about to bring up, I bring up pretty much every time, but I have to do it just in case you haven't seen the previous videos and you're not familiar with the fragrance. There are two fragrances that both are Michael Kors for men. They do smell similar, so you can spray them on side by side and there's a similarity there, you know, similar DNA. The original is more well known for being a dried fruit and tobacco fragrance, if you just want to really simplify it. Whereas the newer Michael Kors for men features suede and incense, not tobacco. Now, interestingly enough, in the old Michael Kors for Men, if you want to call it that, the old Michael Kors for Men, there was also incense and suede there too. So, yeah. Really, the, the simplest way, I guess you could put it, is that the older one has more fruitiness, more tobacco, than the new one. I own both, so I've got the newer one and the older one, and I'm including both of them here. Yeah, both Michael Kors for Men. I enjoy both of them. I think overall, I prefer the original over the redo, if you want to call it that. I think the original one just had a little more going for it. Just uh, a little more interesting for me. I like the sweetness in there from the dried fruits, from the plum. 
and of course I love tobacco. So that one for me, if I had to pick one, I would pick that one. The, the redo is pretty good, but it smells, like I said, similar to the original. So to an extent, it's like, why'd you even do it? Why did you redo it, keep it pretty similar, and then just lose some of what made the original one really nice? I don't know. Now, all this being said, yes, the original, I prefer it, but the version that you're gonna find now is still really, really good. Great, great for fall. It's got a nice casual aspect to it, but at the same time, you could wear it more formally, you could wear it to the office. It's got a lot of appeal to the fragrance, a lot of versatility, it smells very, very nice either way. And that one, Michael Kors for men, is gonna wrap this video up. I think, I think that's a solid one to end on. It actually made, my first top 10 for fall, if I'm remembering correctly, like my first designer top 10 for fall. And either one that you get, the original or the version that you'll find now, both really good. All right guys, that's gonna do it for me. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Thanks for all your support. Stay safe out there and I will see you all tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys.